Robert J. Wright and Aaron McCarty, and on the far side of the gizzard-shaped broadcast table, no, not lurking in the bull rushes, but ready to answer all of our questions. State Senator John Milkovich is here. Mr. John, how have you been? Haven't seen you in a while. It's great to see you guys, Robert, Aaron, Matt. Y'all are so good at what you do. You're Thank pros. You. Yeah, so highly skilled. In? In it's raining. Field? It's okay. raining out there. Okay, no That's flooding. not a very sophisticated weather report, but you, it you is raining. You didn't see any flooding yet or anything? Uh, no. It, maybe a few places where you know you might be you might hydroplane. Right. But, okay. uh, so where do you want to start? What you want to talk about first? I know you had some topics you wanted to cover. Aaron had mentioned... Let's start with, I guess we can start with this uh, b b b state ID law. I'm a little puzzled by that uh, because it, it's one of those things that, depending on which side of it you're on, you get two very logical explanations. Is that unfair? Uh, you know, I don't think that's accurate. I, ha I hate to disagree, Robert, no, 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 with you. Ahead. You're so smart. Listen, uh, I went down there to push on push on those people. Now it looks like they're, they're trying to push back on me. But one of the things that Senate uh, District 38... Uh, and I'm representing Senate District 38, what we went down there to do is stand up for liberty, constitutional rights, and privacy. Real ID is bad news. It's a federal one-size-fits-all ID card that basically they want to ha uh, make every citizen have. And what does it come with? It comes with you have to go into the local uh, DMV, DMV. And, and let them not just take a picture but do a digital scan and get a biometric scan scan your uh, birth certificates and source documents, put them on a computer base that will be under their plan accessible to all the other states. The company that's doing it for Louisiana is called MorphoTrust. It's a, uh, a subsidiary of a totally foreign mega global corporation that has offices in communist China, Russia, and Saudi Arabia. So basically they want to get all your information, all your data, put it on a huge computer base that all the other states have access to, and ultimately and this is what Janet Napolitano of the uh, former Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security said. She said it was her goal that they have tracking chips in our real IDs. So, for, you know, this is a, I think, a very unwarranted governmental intrusion on our personal rights, freedoms, and liberties as citizens of Louisiana as citizens of the United States of America. Well, I mean, we want to get on an airplane, so we're, the federal government's requiring it. What is our option? Get another ID? Well, uh, actually, there are multiple options. If you look, if you go to the TSA, uh, the TSA current TSA regs, there's multiple options. You can get a TWIT card. You can get a an ID issued by the TSA. And also, this is what people what we sometimes miss. Twenty three states have opted in. Twenty seven other states are either dragging their feet or saying no. And there is pending uh, legislation in the United States Congress to repeal Real ID. So there are some patriots out there that are fighting this. And, you know, I just, this is an, uh, potentially an attempt by the federal government to be able to more closely track and maybe even control the movements of American citizens. I mean, what are they going to do next? You say you have to show your Real ID to go from one state to the other? Uh, what happens if they put us in a data bank that everybody has access to the states? It's, it could be potentially available in for, foreign countries. And how are we going to keep the feds out of that? How are we going to keep people from hacking that? Or China getting a hold of it. Oh, my goodness. I yeah. mean, yeah, they're, they have some very good computer hackers over in Communist mm -hmm. China. And yet part of this all stems back to the, the reticence of Louisiana to do the, the federally approved driver's license to begin with, right? Well, actually, and I... I'm proud of Louisiana. In 2008, Not Robert, that that wasn't a good idea, don't get me wrong, right. because as you were explaining, the the draconian, the increasing overreach by the feds, well, you go ahead. I can see you're ready to go. I like the way you said that, increasing overreach of the feds. By the way, I'm quoting Robert Wright. Thank mm -hmm. you. Can I use that in, in, in the, the floor yeah. of the Louisiana Senate? A cr increasing overreach of the feds. But let's be proud of Louisiana for a moment. In 2008, the Louisiana legislature... Uh, enacted a, a law that says that prohibited the state from doing uh, entering into real ID and capturing all our data, our facial images, our our source documents, our birth certificates, and putting them on a computer database that who knows who could have access to. That's what we enacted in 2008. Legislators in 2016 are trying to do 180 and say, let's go ahead and give what we have to the feds. And listen, once you opt in to the federal deal, I believe that you know the trap door opens. Hello, Common Core. Thank you very much. Yeah. Go ahead and join us, and then after you join us, you find out what the rules are. This is this is not good for Louisiana. 